This evening, Minnesota House Republicans are crying foul. A DFL staffers from the losing 2016 DFL election have been granted benefits by the state's dislocated workers program. That program is normally used for mass layoffs from private companies. Pat Kessler, of course, is checking this out for us. So, Pat, you say this is a first, huh? Yeah, it really is. Uh, Minnesota's highly regarded dislocated workers program helps 10,000 laid off workers every year with public benefits to help them find another job. But this is the first time that staffers on a political campaign have ever been accepted for special help. 50 to 60 DFL party campaign staffers lost their jobs after the election. Not uncommon. But for the first time, they banded together to earn special status as victims of a mass layoff. Your job ends when the campaign ends. Republican Let's State Representative Kelly Fenton is a veteran political organizer. She says there are no job guarantees in political work, and staffers know that going in. At the end of the campaign, there's a win or a loss, but there is no job security whatsoever. The dislocated worker program is for mass layoffs of 50 workers or more at places like iron mines or manufacturing plants. But it's never been used for political workers. A dislocated worker is a dislocated worker. Top officials at the Department of Employment and Economic Development say these political workers fit the legal definition of an employee who's part of a mass layoff. We don't discriminate against different um, employers or, or employees. And so if a Minnesotan is eligible for these services, um, we will offer them to them. The program provides assistance with rent and mortgage, utility bills, car payments, and job training. Fenton says giving those benefits to political workers may be illegal. There are many men and women out there right now that would love to have the child care, transportation, help with a resume, help with a job search. That's the type of uh, worker that this program is meant to help. Well, officials at Dislocated Workers Program say they are going to try to use federal money. In a written statement, DFL Party Chair Ken Martin calls the Republican charges dangerously inaccurate, and he describes the program as open to any worker, including temporary workers. Martin said the DFL will continue to protect programs that aid all workers, no matter their party affiliation. So, guys, this is something that a lot of people are scratching their heads about. Sure. We're going to hear a lot more about it. Well, everyone knows those jobs are tenuous and short term. Why did they wait until this year to finally try to take advantage of this? this? Is Why the, have they done it before? Yeah, it's a good question. Uh, that before, there are permanent jobs at the legislature, for example, that was would be eligible for these kinds of benefits. But it's never happened with a political campaign. Someone figured out that this, in fact, could fit the definition. So they tried it and were granted it. I have a feeling we'll hear more, right, Pat? You're going to. Okay, thank you. You bet.